Hello! Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the houses in astrology. Houses in astrology is basically representing the different aspects of life or the different areas of life. So we're just going to get right into it. I'm not going to waste your time. So, house number one. House number one represents other people's perspective, you know, physical appearance, the body, physicality, um, generability, I mean, generality, you know, the general perspective, you know, our approach to life, other people's approach to life, you know, just this very generalistic perspective. House number two represents material things, so money, you know, personal resources, you know, physical things that we can utilize in our life, you know, resources, brings in these energies of security and support. This can also represent life skills, you know, not just physical things that we can touch. Um, along with life skills, it brings in this energy of confidence and self-esteem and being, you know, being grounded in this energy of our skills. So house number three. House number three has to do with communication with the world, communication with others, communication with our community, our, imme our immediate community, you know, so people in our family, our friends, you know, the people that we see every day. Communication, just interactions and energies of that sort. House number four has to deal with the home, you know, the roots, comfort, you know, this very safe and cozy energy, um, stability energy, you know, where we go when we're not out and about, you know. The house number four can also represent our future homes and our future living spaces. House number five has to do with joy and pleasure, creativity, you know, this childlike wonder essence, you know, it's very, it's very freeing energy that house number five brings. House number six is, is your way of help, you know, how you're serving the world with your gifts, how you're being of service. House number six also has to do with health and exercise, and how you show up physically in this reality. House number seven has to do with dependencies, habits, relationships, um, intimate nuances, you know, interactions with loved ones. It's a very, um, very personal relationships. House number eight has to deal with birth, death, transformation, sex, mysteries, you know, merging energies, magic and mysticism. House number nine. House number nine has to deal with journeys and expansion, you know, inspiration, personal evolution, and enlightenment, really. Oh, I mean, well, enlightenment, yes, but also, um, delight. House number 10 has to do with kind of going along off of house number 6, but more so being in this purpose energy, so your ideal purpose, your ideal career path, your destiny. House 11 has to do with friends, social groups, networks, so you know, this kind of goes along with um, house number 3, but this is more so, you know the social groups themselves instead of focusing on the communication part of them. But yes, house number 11 also has to do with technology. So final and last house, house number 12, has to do with the subconscious and mysteries, imagination, you know, things that are unseen here in this physical reality but can be seen through our consciousness. House number 12 also has to do with art. So yes, this was a quick video, you know, I want to keep it short and simple for you so you can get the information right away. And that is all about the houses in astrology.